Hi, it's Christine. Today is my anniversary and my husband just got me this huge food processor. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna surprise him with one of his favorite desserts, a salted caramel cheesecake, and it's gonna be totally raw. All I'm gonna be using is the food processor and the refrigerator, it's so easy. For your nutty crust, you're gonna wanna use a cup of raw almonds soaked overnight, one and a half cup of walnuts, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, a half a cup of pitted dates, a pinch of cinnamon, a half a cup of desiccated coconut, one tablespoon of cacao nibs, pour in those almonds, the walnuts, add your sea salt, and blend away. Okay. Add your dates, coconut, a little bit of cinnamon, and blend, blend, blend. Add your cacao nibs, add some cacao powder, and blend. Oh yes, there's your crust. Put it in the freezer and let it sit. Now let's do the filling. We're gonna do three-fourths of a cup of pitted dates, two and a half cup of raw cashews, one tablespoon of cacao nibs, half a cup of coconut nectar, one fourth cup of tahini, one tablespoon of cacao powder, two inches of a vanilla bean, a cup of coconut oil, a half a cup of filtered water. Pour in those cashews, your dates, your filtered water, your coconut oil, your tahini, nectar, oh so good, your vanilla beans, and meanwhile you want to melt all your cacao ingredients together with your coconut oil, a pinch of salt, oh looks so good, put that in the freezer again. Now for your topping, you're going to want a half a cup of coconut oil, a half a cup of cacao powder, two teaspoons of cacao nibs, pinch of sea salt, and two teaspoons of coconut sugar. So blend those, melt it with some coconut oil, your cacao nibs, your cacao powder, pinch of salt. Oh, looks so good. Yep, this is after leaving it in the freezer. So when you're ready to serve it, melt that cacao sauce again, and just give it a nice pour. I like to add some crushed cashews and pecans. Bon appétit!